Welcome to Vancouver Business Network, where entrepreneurs learn, network, and grow. I am Roger Killen, the organizer. This evening, Sonia Sokolova is sharing her wealth of experience with social media automation platforms with us. Sonia is a top-rated digital marketing coach, speaker, and strategist. Sonia has over 25 years of digital marketing experience and has helped countless corporations use the web and social media to drive online visibility and generate leads. Sonia is a founder of two education programs in the field of digital marketing and a host of the Potluck Academy. Uh, members and guests, if you have any questions for Sonia, please type them into the chat and at various points during her talk, I'll interrupt her to pose those questions of her. Uh, Sonia's talk will be recorded and the video will be released at the uh, Vancouver Business Network YouTube channel uh, around about noon tomorrow. Sonia, take it away. Thank you, Roger. I'm honored to be your speaker today and I would like to say a huge thank you to Sue Clement, who started the conversation about B2B social marketing last week and how to use social media channels to develop a lead generating network. For today's workshop, I've pulled together my experience in media and product marketing, which I have accumulated over the past years. And it largely reflects the trends that I have been observing for, uh, for the past uh, periods uh, in the global digit digital market. Uh, so, of course, you all agree with me that one of the most important trends nowadays is the automation of the business process. Of course, this reflects on marketing as well, like social media management, social media marketing is a business process that surely needs some automation. And the entire transformation uh, has accelerated dramatically during the COVID period and the lockdown. Uh, and now automation is becoming a natural form of economy for all companies, for all types of businesses. So when I first delivered this workshop in Russian, uh, its title was rather provocative. Uh, it named, uh, I named it, how to fire a social media manager and not regret it. And in fact, honestly, I'll talk exactly about how to automate work, which takes so many hours and do it in a fun, in a smart way. Um, I actually don't have any magic seminars or books in my pocket, but I have some uh, insights and promo codes that I'm ready to share. And I've made a great progress in this area so I can help you to find some, uh, some really cool techniques and tools and evaluate how your business can uh, use solutions and tools that I'll talk about. Uh, so during the next hour, you will, uh, as promised, discover how to switch from daily updates of your company's social pages to some wisely automated news feed. Uh, make the first steps building your content media strategy and discover how to get your social media presence organized and how to maximize the reach of your content. Um, some facts about me, just a small self introduction. Uh, I enjoy my 25 uh, years of client digital marketing experience and being a product and product marketing manager, I have led teams that have developed uh, great product, expanded markets and developed new business opportunities for global SaaS and media companies. Uh, I also help uh, many corporations to use their social media uh, network to drive online visibility and to generate leads. Uh, in 1996, I became founder of the most popular music portal in Eastern Europe and the head of marketing in global uh, publishing houses. And so I, I have some solid experience in the marketing and on, in analysis. And um, as Roger mentioned, I'm also known as a founder of uh, two educational projects uh, in the field of digital marketing. So um, I just uh, enjoy being online. I enjoy working online. And honestly, um, I'm a bit overwhelmed with all that social networking and um, all everyone uh, who, who knows. And uh, when I list all this, 
everyone who follows my numerous accounts on social networks usually ask me the same question, like how the hell do you manage and when the hell do you manage to write your social posts? You simply shouldn't have time for this. Like, in fact, you are certainly right. Especially when it comes to the fact that all my business clients uh, also have multiple accounts in different social networks. And um, yeah, here's the truth about social networks. We all know that social networks are an excellent source of traffic and source of useful contacts. However, in order to be taken seriously, your company profile must, must be updated preferably regularly on a daily basis or at least on weekly basis. This is where you fall into a trap. You are constantly making a choice, like either to spend time developing your own business or updating social networks. In the end, you are wasting time and money not to your own business, but on somebody else's. It's a social media business, right? And so back to my own company, my portal, Zvukiru, is updated daily. And this is usually five to four news, a couple of reviews and interviews, some albums, uh, some new videos. And all this is managed by a small editorial team. And the budget, budget of this enterprise is rather modest. So uh, could you please answer my question in chat? How many managers are in charge of my social pages. Those are five profiles. Just try to guess the number. Roger, could you please read it out for me? Okay, one, 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 aha. Uh -huh. Okay, no, you're wrong. You're wrong, zero. The idea is that all this is managed by zero people. So, uh, and here, how I did it. Uh, in 2015, I fired all my social media crew. And like my many, many companies, we went down the path of hiring the dedicated person, a marketer, who made all necessary updates to us daily. In fact, that's, that was a lovely girl. She was doing her best. She was taking on news, spreading it across social networks and supplying images, hashtags along the way. And sometimes she also tried to respond to comments and communicate with customers, but she did it pretty bad. And then they decided to calculate the time costs. And at some point we realized that it would be easier to do it ourselves. Like, Content owners use this approach in their media a lot, using expensive editorial stuff for this really simple, non-rewarding job. Uh, as you see, 90% of time and efforts are spent on some simple routine tasks, leaving no space for creativity, and that's the problem. And what should social media, media manager really do? Like in my ideal world, social media manager is responsible for managing social campaigns like copywriting for captions, monitor social listening, establishing relationship. Um, social media and brand community manager, if you have any, uh, is expected to be up to date to some latest technologies and some social trends and be able to express the brand message uh, in some creative way, right? So they usually need to be on top of technologies and they need to set specific objectives and goals and provide reports on the site, right? And here, here is why we decided that social media automation is the best solution for us. Like, what is automation? Uh, here's the simplest defini definition that I give you, that um, there is a perception that automation is needed only for large companies with a lot of content, but in reality, Social media automa automation is, using widely, is used widely uh, by any size of companies. Um, like in reality, small companies need it much more. And they basically have two problems, either little content or no content at all. And they have even less time to engage in the selection of new content and creativity. However, 
even if they have content, they simply do not have time to conduct marketing or conduct marketing on multiple social networks. So they target just one social network and they stick on that. And as a small business, you produce little content and you will most likely choose one or two networks or publish content sporadically. So that's what you're doing and you're constantly feeling that you are still overwhelmed. So the content should be multi-platform, like you should be represented on LinkedIn, on Facebook, Twitter, and so on. And uh, the groups and uh, communities should be your focus too, right? Uh, so that's the way how we do this. Uh, so talking about the platform, uh, the platform is actually uh, the kind of complex program that helps us to automate posting, uh, sharing, and communicate, communication. And uh, here, is the, uh, here are some benefits uh, of switching to a platform. Uh, why actually a platform to replace managers? Uh, platforms can be automated or partially automated. Uh, the majority of the 100% automated platforms is a constructor from which you can assemble any custom solution for yourself. And they do not require any sick days or holidays. They are not busy. They do understand you correctly. They do not make typos. They do not place some stupid images in the middle of uh, some really serious message. Uh, they do really great posts because those are your posts actually taken from your own content or third party trusted content. And uh, for sure, going out and writing a post is a creative job. Uh, so I will talk later about the ways to get content and to develop your content strategy as well. Uh, but uh, let's first talk about what can be automated and what cannot. Uh, and first of all, I'd like to show you some, uh, some chart of uh, social media platform evolution. It starts uh, from the left with the manual platforms, which allow you to add uh, some hashtags or images or some frames to your basic posts, simply to organize the snippets. In the middle, you will find uh, semi-automated pl platforms like Hootsuite, and I'll talk about Hootsuite a lot today. Uh, and on the right, you'll find fully automated platforms, which do not require any management at all. So uh, the majority of small businesses do stick somewhere in the middle. Like they try to automate what they have and they simply start with some entry level solutions. But I'll show you some example and really great examples uh, how you can automate uh, not only their management but also a content. So how to build a content strategy so uh, what can be automated? Uh, simply text, uh, photo, some call to actions, some events, something that can be transferred and converted to text form. That's simple. What is some kind of bad management and bad um, automation? Of course, it's video because uh, neither Instagram nor platform can create a good capture. And you see here, there are screenshots taken by me from uh, various Instagram accounts of very well-known uh, platforms and very well-known media, like one of them is CNN. And you see how the capture is taken and how actually the live stream is badly represented on Instagram. So I wouldn't go there and I wouldn't do it. So, um, yeah, there's, uh, as mentioned, there's no good platform that works with video and photo streams at all. Uh, that said, Instagram is better to be managed manually with some tools like custom frames. That's it. Just my opinion. Um, so, bots. Uh, here are some, uh, some facts taken from digiday.com uh, in April 2020, so it's pretty, pretty fresh. And you see that messenger bots haven't caught on with marketers and 
the, the number of marketers who is using bots for their business is constantly falling down. But I just want to mention that the credibility of bots falls mainly because they are misused and are usually they are poorly configured. And here you can see on the screen a typical example of such an unsuccessful setup. In response to a mention, a bot responds in the most stupid way, just because the configuration was really bad. So just, uh, just keep it for the moment and we'll get back to bots later. Uh, some popular social media, media platforms and tools, uh, some of them I'm going to mention today, but not all of them, of course, but uh, I'll happily share some insights with you if you just reach out. Uh, so uh, I will give you some small table with the comparison of features and price in the end of my presentation. And let's start with our favorite one. It's an entry level, it's Hootsuite. It's a social ma media management system, a re real time saver. It helps you manage your multiple social accounts and social network ch channel under one account on Hootsuite. So you link your social pages, uh, you uh, link them to your Hootsuite account, save hours of reposts and arrangements. Hootsuite allows you to store Graph messages that you can post when you receive, uh, for example, frequently asked question or some trigger uh, to store hashtags, to store energy, to create library of mentions or uh, create library of uh, triggers. And they also have a great tool which name is author schedule. It's a useful tool uh, that analyzes users social activity and their followers activity. And it's automatically delivering each message uh, at an optimal time. Like it tracks the most active time uh, for your followers and suggests you to, to share a slot and to reserve a slot for the post at that exact time. And don't miss the Hootlet, a custom content sharing feature, which also can be used uh, by, by Hootsuite um, to highlight custom uh, text or images on the web website. Uh, Hootsuite usually gives you a great dashboard with the number of clicks per day so you'd get the full report, the full picture of what's happening in your accounts. Um, some basic information about your visitors, but you surely have it on Google Analytics as well. Uh, top referrals, most popular links. Uh, so all the insights that you need to have in order to make your post more efficient. Uh, also, Hootsuite allows you to delegate responsive, uh, responses to different team members. Uh, so if the company is more than three people, it totally makes sense, but be aware that once you start adding multiple team members, your subscription price becomes quite expensive. So if you think Hootsuite is overkill, uh, try Buffer instead. Um, Buffer is a social media, media management service that um, also integrates with third, third party apps. It's similar to, to Hootsuite in terms of uh, functionality. And uh, with Buffer, you can create uh, custom social media schedules for uh, every social media profile that you own. It's quite a good tool. Uh, they have a publish free plan that helps you to create uh, one custom schedule per platform. Uh, perhaps um, an upcoming event or some public holiday. Uh, and you also can click any of the available slots on that day in your schedule and simply uh, drag and drop some, uh, some posts or some snippet. So you can compose your updates and add any media uh, just just uh, inside your schedule. And now let's answer the question, where in fact can we get this content and uh, how to work with it in general? Like people often think that content is uh, to take a meme or post a cute kitten, but honestly brand awareness and credibility doesn't, doesn't come from memes and quizzes. Um, marketers say that only 20% of your content should be about your brand. 
and the remaining 80% should be content that provides some value to your audience, some really, uh, really useful content and something that drives conversations. And here comes who. Uh, you can use your buffer account to log into who and it's a content curation tool uh, that provides you with context and the filter. Uh, so it's a kind of um, custom uh, content curation tool, uh, an unlimited uh, number of posts uh, aggregated by cool platform. And you can simply uh, choose the, the topics and some hashtags and add them to your daily stream. But the problem is that uh, there wouldn't be any traffic on your site. Uh, there would be just some traffic on some third party sites. So they just come and go. And uh, here's the next step of evolution. Sonia, question yep. from Hima. Yes, yes, sure. How does social media help in a go to market strategy for a SaaS product that is not yet developed? For what kind of product? SaaS. A uh, SaaS. Uh, I work with uh, with go-to-market strategies a lot, and I do create go-to-market strategies for SaaS as well. Uh, so when you're planning uh, using social media networks and uh, any type of, of social connections, uh, first thing that you need to understand is where your audience is. Like there are lots of SaaS products that can uh, fly tremendously on Twitter or on LinkedIn only. I use Facebook a lot. I use Twitter a lot. And uh, for me, uh, for, for one of the products, I use targetings and I'll talk about targetings later. And for one of the products, I use Buffer a lot. Uh, so this all depends on uh, how much efforts do you want to invest in that and how much content do you really have. So we'll talk about content more, if you please. Okay. Thanks, Sonia. No more questions. So, um, targetings. Uh, one of the most popular uh, platform among publishers, media publishers, I mean, it's an artificial intelligence driven, uh, fully customizable SaaS platform. And it's a platform for content distribution management. Uh, the basic idea here is simple. Even if you're a small business, you still have your own content to share and it's been stored somewhere. You usually have some sites or uh, your founder has some blog or probably your clients have some uh, good posts to share or you have some photo stock, some text content or frequently asked questions database, uh, some evergreen content like birthdays, professional holidays. So in targeting, you can also use third-party content without uh, any content fire evaluation. Uh, for example, um, your local newspaper writes about the businesses like yours, something about from like, businesses from your market niche. You can use this a lot. So this can also be fully or semi-automated. Um, and when I was preparing this uh, workshop, honestly, I decided to recall my password and login in targetings. And I realized that since uh, 2015, I, uh, since I created my streams, I totally forgot my passwords. Like I get all the data, uh, I get all the updates and insights in my email. I see all the content is running greatly uh, in all the media platforms. So I really do not need to manage that. And that's what I love about targeting. And because targeting is a cost-effective solution, fitting to any workflow and content strategy is really simple. Uh, so uh, if I can describe the content strategy, how it usually works and how you start building it. Uh, first of all, you need to uh, to understand uh, what you're going to publish, where, and what are their conditions. So uh, talking about the go-to-market strategy, here's the content strategies that uh, actually enrich your go-to-market strategy. Uh, first, you understand, you need to understand what kind of content you have and uh, what kind of content streams you can build. 
uh, then you decide what kind of filters you, you need to build and uh, what are exactly the rules. Like if somebody is mentioning us, uh, for example, some newspaper, should we share this article right away or this could be some kind of harsh content and we would first like to see some uh, preview in order to make it moderated. Uh, or uh, should, we, should we mention some birthdays? Should we mention some weather conditions? Like it's raining, why not going outside? Something like that. And uh, adding some, adding some um, UTM metrics, some shorteners, some hashtags, mentions, is also a part of your job and also part of preparing this content strategy. Then you decide when you want to publish this because uh, when you, for example, realize that there are different rules for Instagram and Twitter, there are different, uh, simply different uh, content format. In Twitter, you only have a short text and a link uh, better with shortener. In Instagram, you need to have really good quality photo or video content, some glossy content, let's say. Uh, so you can easily streamline data for unlimited number of your own feeds or from unlimited third party sources, but first you need to establish the rules. And uh, you need to choose where to publish this. And then here's the workflow that you're working on. Uh, like you choose to publish it to either social networks or use them on your website or app on newsletters and so on. And you need to collect some data. So you uh, not only need to publish, but also get some, some feedback from the system and to see how your posts reflect on your visibility, on your brand awareness and so on and so on. And I'll speak about dashboards as well. Um, yeah, so here's you how- You ready for another question? Yes, of course. Always ready. Can you elaborate, elaborate on what is AI-based posts, please? Yes, of course. Uh, yeah, and you actually you have this uh, on the screen. So um, here's here you see the post, right? Uh, it's it's on your right part of the screen, and it's business news uh, taken from Washington, um, talking about President Trump, and you can see that here. Trump is turned into a hashtag and it's made by, by the platform. And there is a hashtag US business added to the post. And the whole post is actually taken from the simple one sentence news from a local newspaper uh, in Washington, for sure. Uh, the picture is added from some photo bank for some photo stock. And here it is, like here it looks uh, after the platform uh, re rearranged, reorganized and uh, actually redesigned this post. So if your manager tries to prepare the comparable post, uh, they would spend a lot of time doing this, like preparing the photo, preparing hashtags, um, searching for some uh, valuable mentions, searching for some content. So this was posted and chosen fully automatically. That is uh, AI driven content. Uh, in some uh, full automated platform like Targetings, uh, the platform uh, can also choose the content from uh, Google Trends, for example, or Twitter Trends. And uh, using these social listening tools, they can predict what kind of content your readers would be interested in. Do you get the idea? If, if it's not too complicated, like it's listening. Um, so uh, yeah, on, on, the, on the left side of the slide, you have actually some, uh, some list of the actions that are created by the platform. Like it's normally what the manager would do. It's, uh, it's the regular typical job of a social media manager. Um, Roger, did I answer? Hope I did, okay. 
There's, a, there's another question from okay. the same, same gentleman. Uh, yep. you, you showed semi-automated and automated platforms. Yes. Even with 100% automation with say targeting platform, content writing is a must for social media. Would you suggest hiring social media account managers on a part-time or full-time basis to save time? Are they really effective as they are not dedicated or my employees? <laughs> uh, it's a great question. So uh, for semi-automated platforms, uh, hiring a social media manager is a must because really someone needs to create this content, someone needs to write it, and someone needs to schedule this, like in Hootsuite, uh, like in Buffer. For the fully automated platforms like social sprouts and targetings, you do not need to hire any dedicated person for social management, social media management. What you need to do is to update your own business site, is to update your own business blog, to update uh, some, some pages that are relevant to your business, that are core of your business. So if you create an event, this should be, it should be just simply linked to your uh, platform and to your platform account, and the platform will convert this to announcement. That's how it works. So you do not create some specific social media content, no. You just create uh, content for your business. And that's the beauty of the solution. Thank you, Sonia. No further questions? Yeah, uh, some cool facts about dashboards. Um, every platform, um, and this, uh, this is true about uh, the majority of platforms, every platform helps you to increase audience engagement rate and referral traffic volume. And you can track it in real time. So content is monitored by using advanced tracking and reporting, and the more complicated platform is the more complicated data you get. Uh, so uh, here you get lots of insights and uh, they help you to drive audience acquisition and retention. And you also can improve circulation and brand loyalty this way. Uh, if you see that some posts are more efficient and uh, get more engagement, you surely will uh, love to, to create more content uh, on this topic or uh, dedicated to some specific event. Uh, so you can also maximize distribution of highly targeted and engaging posts by applying built-in artificial uh, intelligent algorithms in 100% um, automation platform. And you also can have some insights and some suggestions from uh, semi-automated platforms. Uh, so, yeah, here's, here's one more cool tool, uh, strategy and A-B testing. Uh, when you're uh, not sure about what type of content uh, your readers would be excited about, uh, you just can put two posts in one social network, publish them, and uh, compare the results right away. On the, same, on the same type of audience, on the same type of... Uh, uh, time or uh, social network. Like here, you see that there, there are two examples of posts uh, which were tested, and it was uh, with uh, link shortener or without uh, link uh, versus picture, and uh, maximum posts count for scoring is also added here in A-B testing. And uh, yeah, uh, chatbots. Uh, my favorite chatbots, uh, I use them a lot in a uh, in simple um, situation when uh, there are lots of frequently asked questions and lack of management. Uh, and what I really encourage you to do is to uh, sit down, to write down all the questions that are the most uh, frequent and sensitive for your business and try to create a simple chatbot. Uh, Chatbots can be also automated or semi-automated or fully manual because, yeah, you still have to prepare some uh, templates some, uh, for some answers. And that's a chatbot based on manual, um, you know, reposts or manual answers. But it still makes sense. It's still worth it. And this, uh, this is a great time saver. 
So I encourage you to try chatbots, at least try. Uh, sometimes uh, while answering some questions, you would like to even reorganize your site. And I know a lot of people who would look at their, uh, the questions that are being uh, asked uh, by the customers and realize, wow, we don't have any map on our, on our site and we don't have any, any contacts of the manager in some of the branches. Like that's what we really need to add. Um, and here are some, uh, some tools, uh, some uh, samples uh, that can be used. You see there are lots of rules uh, and lots of cool features here. Uh, but uh, the simple rule is, uh, is that you can parse multiple dynamic content sources like RSS, JSON, XML, Google Alerts, Google Trends, and so on. Add some mapping, like, uh, for example, you can ask the bot to extract the data from, uh, from a source. Uh, you can add some um, additional rules, some triggers, uh, like, uh, for example, uh, in my own business, uh, we have lots of uh, musicians in our online encyclopedia, and they surely have birthdays. So the rule is simple. Uh, when uh, some musician celebrates a uh, birthday with uh, zero or five in the end of the year, we would congratulate him saying, happy birthday, it's your anniversary. Or it's a uh, hundred year anniversary since someone was born. And here's the content, evergreen content that we can use. Uh, you can also create mixed feeds. And uh, mixed feeds are usually based on some uh, databases and archives that you can also use for this. Uh, so if you, if you can, uh, if you have any uh, ads, you can also rearrange it and repost it as content as well. And uh, you surely can integrate every platform with uh, WordPress and all the publishing platform as well. So what to expect? Here are some, um, some simple numbers from me. It's my experience. So at least 60% uh, uh, average organic referral traffic growth. Uh, I was using targetings and at least 90% average time and effort savings. So uh, what I'm actually asking my editorial team to do is surprise to post memes and to post some jokes and add some creative content. That's what they do. So, and uh, here are some, uh, some popular platforms and price for, their, for the main platforms. So when, you, when you're making the solution, what kind of platform you should choose? Uh, the first question you need to ask yourself is, am I going to hire someone? Uh, what is cheaper? What is more efficient in, uh, like, if I was in your shoes, uh, how should I start? Uh, should I leave some management uh, just to be sure that I control 100% of the content? Or I can really trust the platform? And uh, that's, that's a very tough question for sure. Like nobody would uh, just jump into the cold water. But what I really encourage you to do is to, uh, to make a trial, to understand how it works, uh, to try to share some content, to try to schedule some content, uh, to make a simple setup and to enjoy, to enjoy the result. Uh, and actually, uh, I have a present for all the Vancouver Network Society today. Um, my favorite platform gave me 20% uh, promo code for, uh, for the, uh, not for the trial, but 20% for the whole subscription. So if you use this code and I'll uh, later put it in the chat as well, uh, and uh, just try, uh, just start your trial, uh, you will get this 20% discount for like, your lifetime. It's, it's great. Uh, so thanks targetings, uh, thanks partner, partners. And actually I have a dream to see every business uh, be their best and uh, those of you who are feeling challenged today uh, have the support and tools to, 
to move forward, to thrive again, and yeah, to, uh, you have my support. And I know that uh, if you just start working on this, you will see how your networks expands and you'll see your business grow far beyond where it is today. So I cannot wait to proudly watch. Thank you very much. Sonia, I, I have a question for you. Uh, yep. How old is targeting platform and is it fully customizable and does it have an API? How yep. complex is the configuration and how steep is the learning curve? Does it have chat box automation? Okay, uh, so it's um, uh, targeting platform is um, as far as I as far as I know, it's uh, at least six years old because I started using it five years ago and I know that they already existed at least one year. Uh, so yeah, at least six years. Um, and I know that all the major publishers are using it a lot. Uh, AI, yes, they do have, uh, they do have API and they do have uh, AI. And uh, what was the third question? <coughs> Does it have chat box automation? Uh, chat box, uh, it's custom solution as far as I know, and uh, this should be just discussed. Uh, like, I know that it's not included in their basic package, but you can just uh, ask guys if they can launch it for you. And, I use Chatbox. And uh, how complex is the configuration and how steep is the learning curve? Uh, you just take the feed and uh, then uh, you will have to contact the manager. They will help you with the setup because sometimes it just seems to be a bit complex uh, in order to add hashtags, in order to add triggers. For the beginners, it's, <clears throat> you know, it's not the simplest one, but once you set it up, it will work brilliantly and you'll just forget about it. Okay, lovely. But if you, if you are not, you know, if you are not quite sure about uh, do you really need some complex solution, do you really need some some huge platform um, to start, just try any other. Try Buffer, try Hootsuite, just, uh, just to have a taste of this, you know? And I know that uh, there are several people who mentioned here today, like several attenders who mentioned Hootsuite. Um, you mentioned, guys, that you are not fully satisfied, you're not happy with Hootsuite. Um, Karen, Chang, and um, um, Carly, Melanie, uh, so I, I would love to discuss this because uh, probably you just need, uh, you know, some, some additional setup, uh, maybe some, um, some custom solutions and they're available. You can, you can use a lot of tools there. Thank you. Are there any further questions for Sonia? You've wowed them. Thank you, Tanya. <laughs> oh, sorry for that. Tanya, on behalf of uh, VBN, I thank you profoundly for sharing your 25 years of experience, which has given rise to your words of wisdom. Great stuff. Thank you very, thank very you much. Thank you so much, guys. And yes, I'm, I'm reposting once again um, the promo code and the link to targetings and also my contacts. So if you need any help with the setup, please do not hesitate to contact me. Uh, please reach out on LinkedIn or by email. I'll be happy to help you. Okay. M maybe you would put your email. Yes. I already in, done that. In, oh, great. Lovely. Okay. <laughs> so yes. uh, attendees, uh, this, uh, this uh, recording will be uh, posted, uh, um, uh, publicly on the VBN YouTube channel no later than m n noon tomorrow or maybe a little bit sooner. Uh, so it's all there. Go back and uh, watch it again and, um, uh, and, and, and the things that, are, that have tweaked your interest uh, will all be there. Just freeze your video and uh, all the content will be there. So uh, on behalf of Sonia and I, we thank you for sharing your Tuesday evening uh, with us. Uh, look forward to seeing some of you uh, tomorrow night for Kim Alby. Uh, anyone have any final words they'd like to share? If they, if you do, unmute, far away. 
Well, I see so many thank you, and I'm really shocked, guys. I, I was really nervous today, and I really appreciate your appreciation. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> well, you didn't come across as nervous at all. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> thank thank you. you. Thank you, one and all. I'll see you sometime real soon. Bye for now. <laughs> Bye.